So another quick video for you to finish out chapter four. There are some exceptions to our Lewis structure rules that we had started with. One of them is on occasion you'll have an odd electron uh, that most often is going to happen with nitrogen. If it does, sometimes maybe carbon, but really nitrogen is where you're going to see it. Uh, so if we have nitrogen monoxide here, we have five valence electrons from nitrogen, six from oxygen for a total of 11 electrons. Our skeletal structure, we have nitrogen single bound to the oxygen, complete the octet on the oxygen. So we have two electrons in the bond, two, four, six on that. Oxygen for a total of eight electrons there. We have 11, so we have 10 with that pair. And then the 11th electron goes on nitrogen. Nitrogen is needs more electrons, so we take a pair of electrons from the oxygen to form a double bond. <clears throat> this oxygen is happy. It has two, four, six, eight electrons. Nitrogen here has two, four, six, seven electrons. Its formal charge, however, we have five valence electrons minus one, two, three electrons and two bonds of zero. So this nitrogen is actually happy and okay and stable in this bond even though it has an unpaired electron. That unpaired electron is called a free radical and there's lots of different uh, chemistry that can happen there that you'll get more experience in as you move on in your chemical careers. Some other um, exceptions are we can expand the octet. So rather than just having a total of eight electrons on that central atom, we can actually use the d orbitals. So remember the eight valence electrons that comes from the s and the p, which is a total of eight electrons. Once we get into atoms that have d electrons in them, we can start to use those d orbitals because the energy is so similar that we can shift those electrons around. Okay. So uh, exceptions, an example here, we have PCL5, so phosphorus pentachloride, some good naming practice there. Five valence electrons from phosphorus, we have five chlorines at seven electrons each, 40 total electrons. If we stick phosphorus in the center here and draw the five chlorines all around, that is where we can expand the octet. So as written here, phosphorus has two, four, six, eight, ten electrons around it and phosphorus is okay with that. It has p orbitals that it can um, kind of tap into and utilize in that bonding. More on this of how that happens will be covered in chapter five. So then completing our octet on the chlorines, okay, those 10 electrons from the bonds, we have five chlorines that have six valence or six electrons around there as dots. For 30, that takes care of all of our electrons. Doing a check of the formal charge, we see phosphorus and chlorine are satisfied um, and have a formal charge of zero in this Lewis structure. So we can expand it to 10 electrons. 